So I'm going to build on what Eileen said and give you some more stuff in the weeds, and I also will use data that lets us break it down by race and ethnicity, so we can see some of those changes by race and ethnicity, and then if there's time, I'll also touch on questions of have there been permanent changes as a result of the Great Recession in the types of jobs that we One of the key things to take away from this is both men, the blue line is men, the red line, line is women. Both men and women remain very near the bottom of very deep holes. Like that's one, that's the context that this whole conversation is happening in. We are trying to assess a jobs recovery that has barely gotten off the ground. And so I think that's a good thing to keep in mind as we're talking about all of this. Um, and we know men have lost many more jobs than women have, but their profiles look different. Women lost fewer jobs, women lost 30% of the jobs during the job loss period and have gained back just 20, of the jobs that have been gained since we started gaining jobs, they've just got 20% of it. So there is, there does seem to have been this shift. Um, all right, I will move now quickly to CPS data. Um, so this, the, that, this stuff is from the, the CES data, the establishment survey, doesn't let us look at anything by race and ethnicity. So it's nicer, it's bigger, but um, I'll move to CPS data so we can do better breakdowns. So this is the, um, a similar plot to what we just saw, but it's just the recession. So it's 2007 to 2010 annual data. It shows employment, indexed to 100 at the beginning of the recession, so you can easily compare men and women's outcomes over the recession. You see women lost 3.1% of jobs from 2007 to 2010, men lost 6.3%. The big question there is how much of that difference, how much of women coming out of this looking a little better is due to their industrial distribution All right. into this. So this shows employment changes from 2007 to 2010 by industry. They are ranked. So the industries that lost the most were up here. Construction lost 23.4% of employment. The industries that were the best off, that did the best educational and health services are at the bottom. Educational and health services gained over this period 4.6%. I have grayed out the industries that lost employment just so we can figure these are the industries that lost, these are the ones that gained. All right. These next two sets of columns show the female distribution across industry in 2007 and the male distribution across industry in 2007. So what this means is in 2007, 1.7% of female workers were in construction. In um, 2007, 14.1% of male workers were in construction. And when you look at this, you can see that women had a much more favorable industry distribution going into this. They were, in mu they were much less concentrated in industries that were about to lose a gajillion jobs. So their, their industry distribution helped them out a ton. And you can see some of the big differences are you know, over a third of women in education and health services going into this. This is CPS data. I figured out this question. In the CPS data, educational and health services include state hospitals, K through 12, like all, so this is the big, this actually includes all public and private educational and health. Um, and men are hurt, over a quarter of men are, were in construction and manufacturing. Going into this, construction and manufacturing just got slammed by this recession. And so the, the industry distribution um, had a big impact and, oh, but, okay, but here's the kicker. They have, women have a much more favorable industry distribution. What about what's going on within industry? What's the story there? What we find is that within industry, so controlling for industry, women got hit harder in almost every industry. So there was more job, women faced more job loss within industries than men. So, so this is, let me explain this one now. So this shows that um, women lost 27 point, of women working in construction, and they lost 27.9% of those jobs. Men lost 23% of jobs. So the difference there was, you know, women were, lost a 
4.9 percentage points more than men did. And I've, in this case, grayed out the industries where women got hit harder than men. And you can see it's really across the, you know, in most industries, men saw, women saw bigger losses within industry than men did. In particular, in male-dominated industries like construction, <laughs> manufacturing, and transportation and utilities, yeah. women got hit a lot harder than men. These are, these are big differences over here in those particularly male-dominated industries. Um, in female-dominated industries, in particular education and health services, women did do better, but not by that much. <laughs> women gained 4.6%. Men not far behind at 4.4%. So, so in the industries where women gained, they didn't gain that much of an advantage. So here's the slide that really spells it all out. Oh yeah, I'll, just because of time, I, I won't go. Yes, okay, I will. This just, I'll just tell you briefly what this says. This does the exact same thing, but just over the last year, from 2009 to 2010, to show it got even worse mm. from 2009 to 2010. That, that, the, that the female disadvantage yeah. within industry got worse over that, over that last year. Okay, this is the slide. This, these two lines are exactly the same as what we saw um, a couple of slides ago. This is an extra little exercise, this green line that says, it, it's the controlling for industry line. It says, what would women's employment have been like if they had had the male industry distribution going into wow. this. And it would have been, they would have lost more jobs more. than men because we know that within industry women generally lost mm -hmm. more. So what this shows is that the fact that women did better than men in the recession as far as job loss goes is entirely, entirely, entirely explained by their industry distribution before the recession started full stop. It actually explains more. It's like if, they, if, if women had had men's industry distribution, they would have lost more jobs than men. Okay, I will quick now look at some of the same stuff by race and ethnicity. It's hard to figure out how to get all this information on these plots. And I always try to put too much on. But <laughs> this shows just, this is just women. So this is, that, this is to look at the district, these, those same industry distributions to say among women, Breaking it down by race and ethnicity, who had favorable industry dis, you know, distributions going into this? So you can see what this says. Of white women workers, 1.9% of them were in construction in 2007. Of black women workers, 0.7% in construction, 1.5% of Hispanic women workers. Um, and if you compare these distributions, interestingly, there's not huge differences. Importantly, these are industries, not occupations. But if you compare these industry distributions, there's not huge differences. Big differences do show up. If you look at Hispanic women are much more concentrated in leisure and hospitality going into this thing, much less concentrated in educational and health services. But those are, I, I looked at this and I was actually a little bit surprised that there was, there was not more, there weren't more differences. I don't know what I was expecting, but there's not huge differences across these things. But when you do add them up, what you see is that black women had better, in, in, their, their industrial distribution was more favorable heading into this thing. They were less concentrated in industries that were about to get slammed by the recession. Hispanic women had industry distributions that were less favorable. They're more concentrated in the industries that were about to get slammed. But turns out, these industry mixes were completely dominated by the fact that black women lost more within industry. It dominated any of this industrial mix stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the plot first. So this is Hispanic women actually, by 2010, had made up the employment uh, losses that they saw earlier in the recession. This is white women and black women did the worst. Black women fared the worst. They're still you know, far, far down from where they were when this thing started. So let's look within industry. You can, um, this, so these are employment losses for white non-Hispanic women, black non-Hispanic women, and Hispanic women across the um, recession. And I, 
and just went crazy with this shading. So I have shaded the cases where black women had the worst outcomes. I've shaded the industry where black women had the worst outcomes. You see, it's most of them. Black women got hit the hardest in most industries. And Hispanic women did particularly well down here. They did particular, they saw particularly strong gains in industries that were gaining um, public administration and education and healthcare services. Um, and if you look at this over just over the last year, you see exactly the same kind of patterns but magnified.